Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. Today is a very special weekly challenge, not because of the weekly challenge itself, but because it is the 10th weekly challenge since they have added achievements. What does that mean? There is one particular achievement, which is the only achievement I don't have yet, which is to do 10 weekly challenges. So after this weekly challenge, I'm gonna have all of the current Phasmophobia achievements, which means we have finally fully completed Phasmophobia. Now, obviously they're gonna add more achievements down the line but it feels like a special occasion so i thought we'd make a video on it obviously and this challenge is called hide and seek seeker there's a very quiet ghost hiding somewhere can you find it that sounds kind of annoying but hey it'll be special correctly find the ghost type in brownstone high school we're gonna see how that goes i hope you enjoy if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it but let's not waste any more time let's hop into the game let's go all right well this oh i'm i'm a little faster than usual i think we got Donald Dixon, half ghost uh, or half dev name. Uh, now, obviously, we're also playing with the new graphics. We got a working tier three flash. Look at all this stuff. Wait a minute. We actually got good equipment. That's like never happens in a weekly challenge. We even got tier three head cam, which is sick. Okay, I'm going to go in there. What is good? Do we have paramic? We do have tier one paramics. Why? Why not the tier three? The paramic is bad anyway. Um, we'll grab this, I guess. What Do we have a Cursed Possession? I really hope we do have a Cursed Possession. Uh, because that will speed things up quite a bit. Cursed Possession is amazing. We're finding... I've not gone to, um, big maps yet with the new graphics. Uh, so there's no eye adaptation, which means you can kind of see in the dark. Now, it's, it's still not easy to see in the dark, but it's way easier than before. Uh, we have no music box... We probably don't have a cursed possession, huh? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so no voodoo, no monkey paw, no mirror, no board, no tarot cards is right there, and the the music box is right there, which means we're just gonna have to run around and listen for the sounds that the ghost is making. Oh, because we can't even drop our sanity. Man, this um this could take a while, huh? Uh oh wait, I remember this one though. Isn't, aren't all the doors closed by this one or in this challenge? I think that is how it works, if I remember correctly. So you can just run around and look for the open door. This this is like super nostalgic because this is how we used to find every single ghost. One of the main ways you would find the ghost in Phasmo in the old times is by just running around and seeing which door had opened because all the doors would start closed um, and the door would obviously touch doors and then open them. Uh, now that hasn't been the case for a really long time, but that's kind of kind of a callback to the old times in the olden times let's see can we find it oh it's friendly ghost oh yeah i remember this one this one sucks <laughs> it's so annoying hello they better have all the evidence holy oh wait uh i think i heard a basketball did you hear that definitely oh no I have a freaking gym ghost? Are you kidding me? Wait, that's actually super cool. Wait, so if I remember this one correctly, not just are the doors closed, but I think it's actually friendly ghost, uh, which means that we're never going to get hunted. Uh, so we're going to have to find the evidence. Now, I'm, I'm, I think it's in here, which is kind of amazing. We don't even really need a flashlight, to be honest. We just have the head cam. Uh, we're gonna th we can look in the truck at the video if there is any orbs or if that's the ghost room i hope it is that would be kind of exciting look at this i don't know i i'm just noticing how pretty the skybox is in this game love the green over there let's see is this the ghost room we have a few little things no emf5 looking things necessarily uh what's going on uh, i'm just turning off and on the night vision i was like why is it not moving to the next camera i'm stupid there we go um i'm not seeing any orbs but that might just be because there's no orbs. I'm assuming we get all evidence because um, if it's friendly ghosts, we can't use any hunt mechanics. All right, I'm going to go over there. I guess I won't take a, a video cam then because that's kind of pointless. We'll take the spirit box. That's going to be useful. And we'll take these two. This is going to be painful. <laughs> God damn. Hello, ghost. Are you actually in here? That'd be pretty fucked up if I'm honest. Uh, how am I ever gonna get, like, dots or something? I, re I remember having tier 1 equipment and actually getting dots in this map, or in this room, though. Ah, uh, it's definitely cold here. 
Gonna be freezing. It's three degrees. We turn on the breaker, right? So this is dead. <laughs> what are the chances? This is like the second time we've had a, a weekly challenge on in Brownstone High School since the reset. And it's also the second time I've gotten a gym ghost. What the hell is this scam? All right, uh, let's see. Can we just walk around? Where are you? At least we have tier two spirit box, but it's still not very good. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you French? Are you friendly? You were over here somewhere. Where are you? Hello? Can you do something? Can you give us a sign? They, they never change this, huh? They never change that the basketball hoop is too high for you to throw into. Like, no matter what you do, the ball doesn't go high enough to make it into the hoop. You can't even hit the hoop if you go from right below. Oh, you can barely hit it, but it doesn't go high enough to actually bounce into it. What the fuck, man? Weak. Weak ghost hunter. They said on Twitter, I remember one time, like, should we lower the <laughs> the basketball hoop? And everyone was like, yes, please. And then they just never fucking did it. They just lied to us. What the hell, man? What the hell, CJ? Can you give us a sign? Where are you? Hello? Yeah, I don't think this is going to be freezing. Uh, I'm going to turn on the light. Look at that. Dude, that, that's so much brighter? What the hell? The new lighting up update? Holy, dude. That's an actual... I mean, still not quite. Because the corners here are still super dark. But that's actually a decent light now. We can see. Before, it used to, like, cover half the room. Because now you can have the excuse, right? Because this light broke. Yeah, wait a minute. Dude, this is actually sick. Wait, the whole place is lit up like it should be. Because th this light is functional, that light is functional, and it's covering the whole place. That light broke down, it's on the floor, so no wonder that this is dark. So yeah, this is actually, like, that's one of my pet peeves in horror games. When you have, like, a ceiling light that doesn't even light up the whole room. Like, what's the point? The point of the light is to light up the room. But in this case, it's actually totally working as intended. Let's go, what the hell? My shadow. Um, can you talk to me, though? Or do, like, anything? It's not gonna be freezing, right? This is fucked up, man. I guess we'll take, like, more writing books and dots. I can't even place this on any... Can I place it on this, maybe? That could kind of work. Oh, I can. Okay, wait a minute. Then we'll have it, like, cover a little bit. That's... That's real ass. Well, let's grab the rest. Oh, yeah. Nope, we're never gonna get hunted. We're never gonna lower our sanity, which also means we're never really gonna get any ghost activity because the higher your sanity, the less activity. This is messed up, man. What is this <laughs> fucked up challenge? All right, I'm gonna take a UV. We still need more salt. We At least we got tier three salt. I mean, we got some decent equipment, but this is a struggle, man. Alrighty, friend. I have everything for you, but... You're probably gonna not give a crap. I have so much salt. We have a writing book. I'm gonna put it in the very middle. I have another dots, which I will put, I guess, right there. I should not have them overlap. Let's put this right there. So we cover as much room as possible with these dot sensors. Maybe a tier one would have actually been better here. Because you can just shine it around and run around with the dots. I mean, I guess this covers, like, quite a bit of the room. Uh, then we have a bunch of salt. I'm also gonna check the temperature again. It is still not freezing. So, assuming that we have all evidences, I'm gonna rule out freezing. I'm gonna rule out orbs. Um, because those are the only ones we can kind of actually rule out. Because we would have seen the orbs. Uh, and I'm gonna place a bunch of salt in a line here. What if we just do it... Wait a minute. What if we, like, cut the room in half? What if we grab all the salt? Can we do that? Do we have enough salt for this? Um, I, we, like, place it like this in a way that if the ghost wants to move from one side of the room to the other, it has to move through our salt. And then if it doesn't step... Wait. I thought it stepped in that. Looked like it. I don't think I'm gonna have enough salt for this. Oh my god, we actually got dots! And it walked through the salt! Wait! It's a wraith! Wait! <laughs> got him! It, it turned dots and it walked through the salt, but didn't leave footprints. It's a wraith. 
<laughs> that would have been so hard if it wasn't for the dots. Let's go. All right, that was an insanely lucky moment right there. I'm out of here, man. So that's a good start for this one. Uh, we're going to be working our ass off, it turns out. Let's hope next one is going to be a little smaller ghost room, and it's going to be like one of these side rooms here. Uh, at least we found it quick. That could have actually been a disaster if it didn't throw that ball so fast and we found it immediately. Right, we could have been walking around for ages looking for doors that were never going to open because it's in the largest room in the entire map. Uh, so yeah, it was going to be Spirit Box. It was going to be EMF5, which we would have never found. So uh, thank, thank the... <laughs> freaking uh dots man there you go it was indeed a wraith and another ama or good thing to learn is that if you see the ghost in dots form that is actually the ghost so if it walks on salt if it walks through motion sensors you can even take a picture of it which will count as a ghost photo if it's doing dots so very important um keep that in mind uh, now we're gonna try that again we have to do that two more times which hopefully that wasn't even that bad didn't even take that long like 10 minutes or something for a gym ghost pretty solid solid if i do say so myself we got another donald we just had donald dixon now we have donald ramirez i'm not gonna use a uh flashlight i mean i guess i will because it doesn't matter much it's not like we're gonna find evidence while just randomly walking around and it just allows us to see a little better now it's going to be a Gorio. Hey, Gorios are not even that bad as long as it's not a Shade. Shades would be absolutely... I mean, yeah. Cause, like, Shades at 100% sanity are going to do absolutely nothing ever. I hate it here. What is that sound coming from? Is that from downstairs? It's not in this room. It's... Wait, huh? What the fuck? Is that in the gym again? But how is it throwing? That sounds like, uh, something metal, right? Is it any of these rooms? Wait, it just turned on a light switch. It, it's in the hallway? Are you fuck- It turned on this light- Unless I did that? Maybe I did that, but I just heard a light switch. What in the fuck? Excuse me. Ghost? None of the doors are opened. Shit's- Oh, wait, maybe this room? This room is very close. Oh, there we go. Alrighty. It is in the uh, warehouse, which I think it might have actually touched that uh, light switch, which means no mare, because mares can't turn light switches like that. All right. Can you give us a sign? It's not freezing. We haven't turned on the breaker, which makes it very unlikely to become freezing later. So I'm going to rule out freezing. We have an EMF. I oh. <sighs> EMF 5. Let's go. All right, another Wraith. I mean, we would have seen that already, right? Uh, it's touched this door. I gotta run. I gotta run to um, get a UV so I can check for fingerprints there. Hello, I'm back. Uh, do you have fingerprints? Probably too late. That took like two minutes of walking, so I don't think uh, the fingerprints would have still been there. Where are you? Are you here? This looks kind of cool. <laughs> the spare box with the night vision. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Poltergeist? Can it even be? No. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Are you grandma? Okay, I think it's not spare box, which means it's not another wraith here, which we already probably thought. Uh, I'm not seeing any... Wait. We didn't have the night vision on. What the fuck is that? That's some ectoplasm on the wall right there. Don't touch that. <laughs> what the hell? I've never seen this before. The fuck? Damn disgusting ghost. What the hell, man? What have you been up to in this room for all this time? It's graffiti, is it? Oh, Jesus. <gasps> it's this right here. It's like the smudges. Okay, it's not... It's not- Oh, it touched the door again! Right? Yes, it did! Okay, fingerprints. There are no fingerprints, which could mean it's Obake, but probably means there's no fingerprints. So it's either- It's definitely not a Myling, let's put it that way. It's not a Myling, because that would have fingerprints. It could be Goryeo, Raichu, or Obake, but there's no orbs, right? And don't- Two of the- Yeah, two of these- Wait, and it's just a Goryeo? Someone cursed me, man. This, didn't someone say, like, you're gonna get a Gorio now? 
and then I was like, that sh that wouldn't be too bad. A shade would be worse, and then it actually ends up being a Gorio. I mean, it's gotta be, right? Unless it's freezing now. Which could be. It is freezing. I was wrong. It's actually, it's not a fucking shade. That's for sure. It's gotta be an Oni, right? <laughs> 100%. Uh, what would we be seeing? We would see Dot. For sure, right? Well, Ghost Orbs would be nothing. Ghost, it's just, it can physically not be a shade because we are exactly at 100% sanity and the shade could not do a ghost event when we're at 100% sanity. Uh, so that's, so it's either the most active son of a djinn or it's just a regular Oni. It's not done in air ball, it's done like three ghost events in a row. It was a little shadowy though. You want to give me another sign? Hello, hello. You want to give me a sign? I would have to run all the way back to the truck come all the way back here, wait for like five minutes to get dots. Like it's gonna take so freaking long. So I think I'm just gonna use the context clues here to say that this is probably an Oni. And otherwise we're just gonna be in pain here. I think I'm gonna run out of here. That's a pretty cool ghost. Uh, I don't know what's with the ectoplasm though. What the fuck is going on here? This is a leaky, leaky sink. Not my problem. Get, get the hell out of here. No, it's, oh, it's not UV. Yeah, you're right. So we were correct regardless. It is an Oni. It has to be. Let's go. Uh, that looks like EMF. Oh, we already knew EMF 5. Wait, we actually did lose sanity there. Interesting. Oh, because of all the ghost events. It did three ghost events. We lost 60% sanity. Another uh, example that it's an Oni. Because uh, they're... they're in this uh, difficulty, they turned off Sanity Drain. So the only way we could have lost Sanity is by Ghost Events. If it was a regular Ghost, it would have drained our Sanity by 10%. But because it's an Oni, the Ghost Events drain twice as much Sanity when they touch you. Which in this case was three Ghost Events totaling 60. So perfect. We have so much evidence for this being an Oni. Let's go. That was actually... This is an interesting way of playing the game. With like, most of the time is spent finding the Ghost Room. And, like, not necessarily being hunted, which is one of the things that a lot of, like, high-level gameplay looks like. You were like, all right, I got one evidence. Let's get a hunt, and I'll figure out the rest of the shit. Here, there's just, it's just more on the investigation part. So, yeah, there you go. That is number two. Now for number three to uh, get the achievement and be 100% or and complete Phasma 100%. Let's hope it's another... It's going to be another Donald. It's Paul, though. <laughs> Okay, not a Donald. It's Paul this time. It's also rainy. Uh, I will be taking the same stuff as before. I don't know. Is it going to be another uh, gym ghost? Imagine. There's the breaker. Uh, was that a sound? I swear I just heard a sound over here. Ghost? What the fuck was with the ceiling? Did you see that? Ceiling is all messed up when, when I run closer to it. <laughs> I guess it's just a draw distance. Um, anyone here? Oh, is that on the second floor? Maybe. Probably. Whoa! Hello there. Is it actually gonna be Jim again? It's not Jim again. Uh, I don't know what the fuck this ghost is. This is. Maybe it's like at the entrance or like in the chapel. Those are usually rooms that are really hard to find the ghost in. Because <clears throat> the doors aren't very close to where the ghost is usually at. Like this door, this room right here doesn't have a door, for example. So it might be in this room. It's not. Is it chapel? I feel like those are the only two options. So we have gone past all the rooms several times and not found- Wait, 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 10 degrees? Oh my god, it's entrance?! Wait, huh? Wait. Wait. How is it hallway? That's not- that's not possible. You're not allowed to be hallway ghosts. They said they would get rid of that. Excuse me. Okay, it's not- it's gotta be one of these rooms adjacent to the hallway or this shit is messed up. Hello? It- it cannot- hallways are physically incapable of being the ghost room. So that might mean it's some kind of roaming ghost that roams to my location, maybe? Or there's some 
shenanigans afoot. I don't know. Wait, now it's... Now it's high temps again? Is this the tier 3 thermo just being an absolute piece of shit? What? <laughs> what is going on? I walked back and forth and now it's a completely different temperature. <laughs> this shit is so dumb. I hate this thing. Wait, what? Or is it like which side? Wait! This side of the hallway is six degrees? This side of the hallway is 18. No, it's six degrees again. What is going on, man? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, I'm so confused. Wait. Hello? You touch the door. Wait, touch the door. Touch the door, touch the door, touch the door. What? Is it a wraith? What in the actual crap is going on here? It's gotta be a wraith, right? It just did like a random EMF. Hey, Thorno, what's up? I am so confused right now. How is it in this hallway? This is not a ghost room. It cannot be a ghost room. So what are we doing then? We're grabbing salt. We can't get it to do something during a hunt. Can you just do that again? You give us a sign. This run is fucked up. What could it be? It could be the twins. Prop maybe. I don't know. I mean, at least we got an evidence. That's pretty good. This is just not the ghost room, though. That's the problem. So if I leave here, it's going to go back. All right, we're going to have to quickly leave and then grab some salt. So, I mean, I guess I could grab a dot sensor, although... <laughs> Am I really going to get two rights? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. At least we got EMF, so that's nice. Uh, we'll grab UV and salt. We have motion sensors. We could grab a motion sensor. Wait, actually, the tier 3 motion sensor here might be pretty good because we can, like, scan with it, right? Because we can place it on the ground, and if the ghost is in the circle, it'll point at it immediately. Is it still cold here? It's gonna be, like, super hot again for some... No, it's still cold. It is still cold, which is good. Can you give us a sign? Let's find the ghost. Um... Find it with the motion sensor. We're just gonna walk through the hallway. Should eventually... On last snow? <laughs> I'm sorry, what is happening? It's getting warmer again? I think this has to be a ray. It's like the only way you could explain this insanely strange behavior. Yeah, the temp is going up again. I think the ghost is just left here. But it should be coming back, right? If it's a wraith, then it should just teleport to me again. Which we could detect by... Wait, 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 wait. Where's my EMF? I dropped it over here. We just keep the EMF on and we stand right here. And we place one salt here. And then we stand on the salt waiting for the wraith teleport to happen. <laughs> this is fucking janky as shit. I remember actually doing this when I had hallway ghosts in the past. I remember finding out a wraith this way by standing on top of the salt with an EMF and just waiting for the EMF to trigger and the salt not to be triggered. Come on. Come back here. What in the hell is going on here? Wait. <laughs> it's flying smudges. It's a ghost. It is a spooky hallway. What the fuck? Is it now? Is it cold here again? We did a whole trip around the school not finding anything. What in the fuck is going on? It is cold here. It can't be hallway though. Wait. Did I just hear a light switch? I swear I just heard light switch. Wait, don't turn it off. Don't turn it off, please. It has itself in the salt. Any of these rooms have light on? Uh, Jim, the breaker pop, or the, I, wait, it's up on the motion sensor, excuse me, that must mean it's a raid, it has to be a fucking raid, you dickhead, where'd you go, where you at, my brother in Christ, are you, you went into this room, you didn't step my fucking salt, are you in this room, 
It's gotta be a wraith, right? What in the... It, it pointed to this room. I'm so confused. Alright, buddy. I don't know what the hell is going on. Here you got two dot sensors. Use those however you please. Uh, where are you? Are you here? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Did that door open or did I just leave this open? Taken away. What the fuck? I just checked this room like a million times. My brother in Christ. What in the fuck? Okay, so it's clearly a wraith. Uh, we'll place the dot sensors there. We, I mean, we knew it was a wraith. We just had to see the proof. I mean, this is technically adjacent then. If that's the, the ghost room here. Let's see. All right, let's see. Here you go. I have for you this. I could also bring more salt, of course, but do the dots. Give me a sign. This is cool. Could new lighting be like? Can you give us a sign? I mean, I guess the dots didn't really change much. Where are you? Slips away. Is that me? <laughs> Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you from friendly? Behind. Uh, from behind. So what we'd be looking for? We'd be looking for not this. Uh. Ring. You're now ringing the phone? Of course. Of course it's a wraith. We could have ended this on our first second. If we just stuck to our guts, we would have saved like 30 minutes of just running around losing our damn marbles. All right, of course this was a wraith. We knew it from the very beginning, but <laughs> at least we, at least my status or my curiosity has been satiated because I was like, I have to know where this ghost room is. And I had no idea what the actual ghost room was because it cannot be the hallway because the hallway is impossible to be a ghost room. But we checked all the adjacent rooms like several times, even upstairs, and none of them were cold until randomly they decided to be. So yeah, there you go. Which means this is a wraith. Which means we completed it. Which means after I click done here, I should get the final achievement. There you go. Taking all challenges. Complete the challenge mode 10 times we now have you have unlocked all achievements 54 out of 54 we have officially 100 percent completed phasmo platinum trophy let's go now if you the hardest achievements oh if you're interested which i actually managed or i made sure to get before this one are the golden trophy that one's hard obviously i got i got that one as soon as the achievements were added because i already had the achievements uh the um the Banshee one was actually the last one before this one I unlocked, which is where you have to die in multiplayer because I don't play much multiplayer against the Banshee. This one right here, the bait, 2.7%. Um, complete 10 weekly tasks, only 0.3%. And this one is probably the rarest uh, besides the one I just got, uh, which is Doom Slade. Get killed by a demon ability within the first minute. I, I just got that one randomly on a weekly challenge, 0.2%. So yeah, there you go. Now they have already said... Uh, I'm getting so many levels, by the way. They have already said that they are going to add more achievements in the future. I definitely want to see more ghost achievements, more achievements related to doing specific things against specific ghosts. Ch doing specific custom challenges will be really fun. Why is there no no evidence challenge, for example? They really got to add stuff like that. Because that is like... Those, they need to add achievements that are kind of like a checklist for if you have like actually completed fast mode because right now if you were to just get these 54 you would have done a ton of stuff but you wouldn't have done everything in my opinion there's a lot of stuff that's not on here that could be added uh i don't know there's no percentage with this one but you literally could only start getting this one today so we are among the first to get all achievements in this beautiful game so yeah thank you so much for watching we got tier three salt probably something else level 69 so nice what a wonderful <laughs> level to end on. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you just like it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely game in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash Instagram. Click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>